Look at this. Now, check this out. Guys, it's finally here. The 12.8 inch Tesla style screen. We're gonna have a quick unboxing. As you can see here, there, there is nothing on the box, front of the box. It's just plain and simple. And this is basically the whole screen. Okay, but let's go into the car and see how it fits on the Golf. This screen, I bought it without knowing whether this can really be installed in my Golf uh, Mark 6. But I bought it out of faith. Hopefully it can be installed because as you can see here, this area is a little very limited so i was a bit afraid that uh, this whole area would not fit the 12.8 inch screen <clears throat> so but you know what i was like okay you know what? i'm just gonna buy it and i see how it goes so far in malaysia there hasn't been any accessory shop having this screen so i believe i'm probably the first one in malaysia to have this screen and be uh, getting it installed <clears throat> on a golf and in fact in general this screen is probably the first in malaysia ever so here, uh, quick unboxing, you have your cables, your connectors, I'm not sure what this is for. There's also your brackets, these brackets are supposed to be fitted for your car, I'm not sure what it is, but anyway. Of course, the more important thing is obviously the screen which we want to go into. Look at this baby, look at this, okay, before, before I open it up, let's just see how it fits. Ah, actually, not too bad. I was actually afraid that it would block the air condition a little bit, like a lot more, but I think this is okay. This part will, this, this thing will probably fit right in the middle. So I think it's about here. This, okay, I don't have much area to play with here, but I think, anyway, let's, let's open it up first. Moment of truth, people. Holy shit, look at that. Oh, this thing is huge, okay. Look at this baby. Going right in the middle, roughly about here. Yeah. Look at that, man. Okay, the good thing is, you can push this to the side, and I think it's very solid, super solid. Yeah. Okay, if, if I push it a little bit to the left, then yeah, I have enough area to play with. Actually, a lot. Look at that. Looks super modern, okay. And of course, the good thing about this screen is actually you can rotate it vertically as well. So it would look like this. Of course, it would block the air conditions. Maybe a little bit of my gear knob, depending. Yeah. But if, if it looks like this, it's actually not too bad. The only thing is, I hope when I fix it that this part can be, you know, slightly pushed back towards the dashboard so it doesn't have such a big gap. But okay, yeah. overall, if it looks like this, it's actually pretty I obviously need to sacrifice is that a little bit of the vent area. I won't be able to see much of this uh, air condition uh, controls, but I think it's a small sacrifice because if it's still in landscape, I don't see much of an issue. I still can see it's just a little bit of a hassle. This part, I think I would be able to get clearance. So this will, this area will, will not be so much of a problem. I was afraid that, you know, uh, the passenger's uh, knee will be in, in the way or I wouldn't be able to open a glove box but that's not a problem at all and this this screen can be also pushed to the to an angle like this so I think overall it, it looks nice it's, and surprisingly it's not as big as I would expect it so yeah this guys this looks this would look amazing in my car like after everything is installed so now off to getting this installed one issue with buying something online, um, I bought it off AliExpress. I've even got, I've even asked the hotline, and they said that you, all you need to do is just buy this particular bracket that comes with it, and it should work fine. But um, the guys just mentioned that there is an additional bracket, metal bracket that's supposed to house the whole player itself. That's not included, so we have to retrofit it. But um, I'm glad I'm, I'm with these guys who are doing it. So um, they'll have it done. Uh, not an issue, it's a small thing. But just, just FYI, it did not come with uh, the metal bracket, which is supposed to fit into the Volkswagen Golf. I'm also getting a reverse camera fixed 
which is something I always wanted to do and I think it will look very nice together with uh, with the entire screen because I think one of the features within the screen and I think in, in general any Android play, player screen has is that reverse camera so apparently it's supposed to fit really nicely into the whole into the whole thing so I think definitely a, a reverse camera would be a very nice touch to this so that's why I'm getting my reverse camera fixed as well we are halfway through all of this is are fixed already now we're just waiting for the wiring for the back camera to come in hook it up and then we can proceed to putting this in and trying out the screen Look at that, that is sick. That is freaking sick. Only one in Malaysia. Only one in Malaysia, bro. I'll be doing a full review of this head unit in my next video. So guys, check it out, subscribe, leave me a comment. Come with me on this journey as I figure this out with everyone. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.